Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I thought I would come and do another video about the combination of hair products I've been using this month because these ones have, there's very specific reasons why I'm using them and I've also got some specific benefits so I think it'll be useful to you. Um, I don't know that I'll call it my favourite products or not because there's one product that I don't think I'll repurchase. Anyway, let me just get started. The first thing I am using is this. This is the Umberto Giannini Scalp Restore. It's a scalp reviving anti-dandruff super fruit enzymes shampoo. Um, I don't have dandruff, um, but this is a translucent shampoo. You guys know I like a deep cleansing sort of clarifying shampoo and so yeah that's what had attracted me to this and I used it and had the added benefit of it making my scalp stop itching. Now this is a very recent thing for me um, you know I know a lot of you guys have scalp problems I've never had anything at all going on with my scalp it's, it was only literally before I used this shampoo I'd had it a couple of times and I had spoke to my husband about it because he does have scalp issues and I said to him I've got a really itchy scalp, but when I scratch it, it feels as if it's sunburnt. That's exactly how it felt. Oh, God, I panicked there. There was a little boy running around the courtyard with no owner, but it's all right. His dad has come out one of the side doors. Um, so anyway, um, this is the shampoo I used afterwards and it really, really helped. It stopped the itching. Nothing else happened after using this. And then I then went on to use, you can see that my hair is now back to my natural colour. We'll be 100% sure this is natural when I start getting roots but this is as far as I can see my natural colour. I used a colour remover um, and it, it, oh god it absolutely stinks, it smells of egg, you know it's not very nice at all um, and it would hit I could not get the smell out. I had rinsed it for the amount of time. That's normally what does it. That's normally what makes you get rid of the smell is you have to stand under the shower for like 20 minutes. It's a ridiculously long time. But I could still smell the that sulfury smell. And so I thought I would use this. Um, and the other thing was, it after having used the colour remover, my scalp went back to being itchy and sore. So I used this and my scalp felt a lot better. So I really like this and this is definitely something I'm going to repurchase. Um, it's nice and clarifying, but it's not too, it doesn't make your hair squeaky clean. You know how I used to like the Tresemme one that does that, but it does feel like it's really removing build up and things. And yeah, I really like that. The conditioner I used was again, a very specific to trying to get rid of this sulfur smell. So I thought I would use this because it was kind of a clarifying shampoo and then I thought I would use this afterwards. This is the Soap and Glory Pink Big Weightless Conditioner. The reason I thought I'd use this one is it's one of only two, I can't even remember the other one but I've spoken about it before, two conditioners that you can smell afterwards. So if I, whenever I use this and it smells of, it says pink grapefruit, Oh, it smells absolutely divine and there is a slight smell of pink grapefruit but it's a bit more perfumey than that um, but whenever I use this I can smell the scent on my hair and so like I said I was trying to get rid of this sulfur smell so I thought I'll use that shampoo and then I will put this on and leave it on for a while you know and saturate my hair with it um, and it has helped that's actually what I can smell from my hair and I was asking my husband just today to see if he could still smell the the sulfur smell at all and he was saying ever so ever so slightly but this has masked it I can I can still smell it ever so slightly and I could smell it when I was straightening hair this morning but this has definitely masked it. It was so strong that after the first time of using the colour remover that night, every time I turned over I woke up because the smell was so strong, you know, in my hair. I should have like tied my hair back or something and I was like, oh, this is terrible. Um, but anyway, I love this. It's a weightless conditioner, as it says. Um, I think this would be a great one for fine hair. For me, it's not as detangling as I like when I've got, you know, my hair's now longer and my hair's very thick. It's not as detangling as I like, but I can use it with my, um, the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. That is like my save all now, you know, any conditioners that aren't as detangling as I need them to be, I can use that to um, improve it. But I think for shorter or, or finer hair, I think it would be absolutely fine. It's lovely. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all. Really, really nice. Then when my hair is clean, I use a one volumizing product and one detangling product. And so the detangling product I thought I would use is this, again, because I thought it would take away the scent from my hair because this is, this is the Moroccan oil treatment. Oh, it just smells amazing. This is my favorite smell for hair care ever. It, to me, it smells like kind of what, sauna, what you would get when you're in the sauna, you know, that sort of smell of burnt wood. 
or smoky wood it's lovely absolutely lovely and it's funny because I'm only down to there and yet I've had this for years um, and it's one that's just sat on my shelf for a long time and I hadn't used it but somebody asked me how this compared to the Paul Mitchell skinny serum that I was raving about um, and so I used it again and kind of compared the two and I've been using this the last few times. This makes your hair extremely soft. It does make it detangled, but it's more soft than anything. Whereas with the, the Skinny Serum, my hair feels really lightweight and tangle free, but not extra soft. This is like, like I use this on this wash here and it just feels, it does feel detangled, but my hair just feels so soft. You would think that would be a good thing and it is lovely, but the only downside is that it's hard to get volume in it when your hair's like that. You know, it's so soft that it would be like, even I've got a grip in my hair and I've had to kind of spray it in because it will slip out. And you know, if you're trying to style your hair, then this would probably make it harder. Um, but it is really, really nice. I've, I have loved this almost for as long as the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. And then the final product I use is the Peptide Volumizing Hair Treatment by The Inky List. Um, this is one that was working really well for me for volume several times, but I'm nearly at the end of it. I think I've got one more use of this. And what I've noticed is that if I use products that really give me a good detangling, so for example, the Moroccan oil um, or the Paul Skinny Serum, Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum, this doesn't give me as much volume. Just as I was saying, that kind of makes your hair too soft. So whether you can say this is, is working too well or this isn't working well enough, I don't know. But when I haven't used those products, um, I get a lot of volume from this, but I did use it with these three other products. And um, as you can see, there's not an awful lot of volume in my hair. Now I have straightened it this morning, but um, I did notice that it, I put my Velcro rollers in as always and took them out and my hair just kind of fell flat. You know, it didn't have that same sort of bounce that it normally has. So I think the last time I use this, this will probably probably not be a repurchase and I will continue to use the Aveda. And I have used the Aveda with the Moroccan oil just to check, does anything work with the Moroccan oil? And it's definitely not as volumized, but it does work more than this, the Inky List one. So that's the combination that I'm using at the moment. I'm saying this month, I change it more than, I don't use one combination for a month. I really change it all the time, but it's, this has been really interesting to me to try and focus on one kind of group of products and test them out and see how they work together and see how they work separately and hopefully I can slim down the amount of hair products I've got um, whilst also giving you reviews along the way. Um, I'm in at an interesting point in my hair journey I would say at the moment because um, some of you may remember that when I last had my hair cut I still I, ha I have been using wash in wash out colors over the last few years. I have never used anything that's semi-permanent or permanent on my hair other than when I was 21, I had my hair dyed blonde. Apart from that, I've never put a permanent dye on my hair or even one that's semi-permanent other than I like these wash in wash out treatments, you know, these wash out in six to eight washes. I think I did use one that said it washed out in 20 washes or something and it, it was very difficult to remove. I've always had to use these color removers, but I thought I had washed the last ones out. I was using these conditioners, conditioning colors, and I thought that I had washed them out. Went to the hairdresser and she said that I am no longer a redhead, that my hair is a kind of ash blonde slash mousy brown, but that it's very, very cool. And it really threw me and she was talking about my roots um, and that the rest of the color of my hair that I could see was residue color. And I was like, okay, but it was just conditioner. So I wouldn't have thought that would be residue color. So that's why I thought I would use the color remover just to see, well, what is my natural hair color now, you know? Um, and so this is the color it is. So I'd be interested to know what you think because I still think it does have ginger in it, but definitely not as much as, you know, I'm used to, not as much as I've had most of my life, but I can see what she means in that it's more um, mousy brown, isn't it? The interesting thing is I did my eyebrows this morning with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder in caramel, which is one that I use when my hair is at its reddest. And so it does look to me like it is a good match. So maybe there is still some ginger left in my hair. My husband says that he thinks it's a cool ginger. And I was saying to him, I don't think there's such a thing as a cool ginger. I said, because ginger is orange and that's a warm color. And so I don't think you can be a cool ginger, you know, um, but, but it's definitely cooler than usual, isn't it? The good thing about it though, is that, do you remember I was showing you the sides of my hair, there was all that, the gray highlights. I don't think you can I see it. I was to have a look at it in the mirror yesterday. And I was like, do you know what? 
I actually can't see my greys as much and that's exactly what the hairdresser has said to me because I was talking about how to cover greys and she was saying well you'll need to have some blonde highlights and go lighter and that then disguises them so I think just with using this colour remover it's kind of disguised them so I can wait a little bit longer before having some highlights but that's what I plan on doing I plan on having some some sort of blonde highlights I'm not sure what exact colour I'll probably just leave it to the to the hairdresser for the first time so anyway that was a bit of a ramble about my hair let me tell you what I've got on makeup wise um, because that is everything to tell you today I have got on the hourglass stick foundation in shell I thought I hadn't used it for a while so let me give it a go it's actually thicker coverage than I thought I noticed when I put it on my freckles have come out with the sun and I noticed how it completely covered them so I do have a lot of freckles here and it's covered them pretty well um, on my eyes is the Morphe Sweet on Hue palette that I'm just going to show in the next video I record which is a haul. Um, on my cheeks is the Hourglass blush in Dim Infusion. On my lips I did put caramel, uh, Steely Liquid Lipstick in Caramello but I put um, a gloss on top which is a NYX gloss in a kind of pinky colour and it doesn't look pink but that's what I put on top. So that's everything, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.